Alright guys, welcome to the channel. Hope you're all having a good Monday afternoon, well Monday evening, Monday early evening. Hope you're all doing okay, hope you're all doing good, um, etc, etc. Um, I just want to say, pizza is evil, pizza is evil. I was starting to lose weight, um, starting to be able to see my abs again, and I've just, I had a pizza today, I, I give in, didn't I, I give in to it, uh, I just fancied one, and uh, now I'm about 30 stone again, so, uh, <laughs> oh Jesus, uh, all that hard work, I'm going to be dancing a lot over the next few days, I think, trying to get it off again. Um, but yeah, um, but besides that, I'm okay. <laughs> pizza is evil though, stay away from pizza, it is the most fattening food ever. It really is, um, the worst food for, for the stomach line, um, there's nothing worse. Pizza's the worst, so yeah, um, so I got to um, well, yeah, I'd say pizza's the worst. Yeah, so, um, one of the worst anyway, one of the worst. But yeah, um, I just want to go over a, a quick scripture, um, Psalm 107, um, following on from the Psalms, I think we got up to Psalm 106 last time, so let's just go straight into it. Uh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, his love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord tell their story. Let the redeemed of Let the redeemed of the Lord tell their story. Those who redeemed from the hand of the foe. Those he gathered from the from the lands from east and west, from north and south. Some wandered in desert lands, finding no way to a city where they could settle. They were hungry and thirsty, and their lives ebbed away. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He led them by a straight way to a city where they could settle. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. For he satisfies the thirsty and fills the hungry with good things. Some sat in darkness, in utter darkness, prisoners suffering in the in iron chains because they rebelled against God's commands. They despised and despised the plans of the Most High, so he subjected them to bitter labour. They stumbled and they were no and, and there was no one to help. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. He brought them out of darkness, the utter darkness, and broke away their chains. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. For he breaks down gates of bronze and cuts through iron, and cuts through bars of iron. Some become some became fools through their rebellious ways and suffered affliction because of their iniquities. They loathed all food and drew near the gates of death. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. He sent out his word and healed them. He rescued them from the grave. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. Let them sacrifice thank offerings and tell of his works with songs of joy. Some went out on the sea in ships, they were merchants on the mighty waters. They saw the works of the Lord, his wonderful deed in the his what his wonderful deeds in the deep. For he spoke and stirred up a tempest that lifted high the waves. They mounted up to the heavens and went down to the depths. In their peril their courage melted away. They reeled and staggered like drunkards. They were at their wits' end. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and He brought them out of their distress. He stilled the storm in a He stilled the storm to a whisper. The waves of the sea were hushed. They were glad when it grew calm. 
and he guided them to their desired haven. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. Let them exalt him in the assembly of the people and praise him in the council of the elders. He turned rivers into a desert, flowing springs into thirsty ground and fruitful land into a salt waste because of the wickedness of those who live there. He turned the desert into pools of water and the parched ground into flowing springs. There he brought the hungry to live. There he brought the hungry to live and found, and they founded a city where they could settle. They sowed fields and planted vineyards that yielded a fruitful harvest. He blessed them and increased and their numbers greatly increased and their numbers greatly increased and he did not let their herds diminish. Then their numbers decreased and they were humbled by oppression, calamity and sorrow. He who pours contempt on nobles made them wander in a trackless waste. One second guys. But he lifted the needy out of their affliction and increased their families like flocks and increased their families like flocks. The upright see and rejoice, but all the wicked shut their mouths. Let the one who is wise heed these things and ponder the loving deeds of the Lord. Yeah, so that's the word, guys. I'll go over Psalm 108 as well because it's a short one, so I'll go over that as well quickly because the video is not that long, so I can fit it in just about. My heart, O oh God, is steadfast. I will sing and make music with all my soul. This is Psalm 108. Awake, harp and lyre, I will awaken the door and I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will sing of you among the peoples, for great is your love. Higher than the heavens, your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. Save us and help us with your right hand, that those you love may be delivered. God has spoken from his sanctuary in triumph. I will parcel out Seshem and measure off, off the valley of Succoth. Gilead is mine, Manasseh is mine, Ephraim is my helmet, Judah is my scepter, Moab is my wash basin, on Edom I toss my sandal. Over Philistia I shout in triumph. Who will bring me to the fortified city? Who will lead me to Edom? Is it not you, God, who you have rejected? Is it not you, God, you who have rejected us and no longer go out with our armies? Give us aid against the enemy for human help is worth. Give us aid against the enemy for human help is worthless. With God we shall gain, gain the victory. With God we shall gain the victory and he will trample down our enemies. That's the word, guys. So that's Psalm 107 and Psalm 108. Hope you liked it. Hope you can take something from it. Hope it blessed you in some way. Um, yeah. Um, that's pretty much all I've got to say for now. Um, but thanks for watching. Um, Feel free to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Feel free to like and share any of the videos. Um, just got to get a little shameless plug in there. <laughs> I just got to get a little shameless plug in there. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, wow. Well, so um, I think that's about it, guys. Um, so, yeah. Um, thanks for watching as always. Appreciate you all. Love you all. Keeping you all in my prayers. Um, and yeah, that's it, guys. Um, we'll be back with some more content soon. Thanks for watching. Much love. God bless. And I'll be back soon. Take care, guys. Bye. Love you all.